I'd like to begin by giving you all a very warm welcome and to thank you for coming here today. It, it's an amazing venue and we're here to celebrate the uh, very special happy occasion, the marriage of Shamir and Ellie. Um, it's also fantastic to see so many friends and family here, um, especially those of you who've had to travel long distances. And I must say, you're all looking fantastic. Um, for those of you who didn't know me until two minutes ago, I'm, I'm Rob, uh, the, Ellie's, Ellie's father. Oh, sorry, I should have said the father of the beautiful bride. Yeah. <laughs> and for those of you... Uh, for those of you who do know me, I'm just the warm-up act before the real comedians Dan and Rich hit the stage. There you go. Now, as I'm sure you're all aware, um, we've had to postpone the wedding twice, both in 2020 and 21. Um, so it's, it's third time lucky. But now, at last, they're finally married. Uh, yeah, exactly. I think the mere fact that they've, they've lived together as a family for four years now and survive lockdown just shows its true love. Thanks. So if I can take you back to the beginning, it was 11,758 days ago, on the 26th of February 1990, that Ellie popped into the world. Um, Dub Be Good To Me by Beats International was number one in the charts that week. <laughs> And Liverpool were on their way to winning the old first division title that season. <laughs> now, like many dads, Ellie had me wrapped around her little finger uh, from the first moment I saw her serene little face. Um, and I've had plenty of great experiences in my life, but the greatest of all was becoming a father for the first and only time. Uh, now, sadly, Ellie's mum passed away when she was just 13, um, and Ellie had to come and live with me in London. And I can tell you, bringing up a teenage daughter is definitely a challenge. And, and to be honest with you, it completely changed my life. Um, but at this point, I'd, I'd like to give a huge thank you uh, to both Sue and more recently, Yolita, uh, for all the support they've given over the years and continue to do so. Uh, I'm sure you all agree Ellie's look absolutely stunning today, both in the wedding dre dress. Um, but to me, Ellie, you'll always be my little girl. I I'll always love you. I, I am so proud of you, and it's an honour to be your dad. So, traditionally, it's now the time when I'm supposed to intro introduce Sham into the family, but to tell the truth, he's been part of the family and very welcome uh, since we first met almost seven years ago. Ellie was looking for a man in his prime, that's Amazon Prime, <laughs> and Sham fitted the bill perfectly. Uh, Sham and I, Hit it off immediately over a mutual love of Liverpool Football Club. And it's quite apt that in his, in his wedding year, Liverpool have got every chance of winning every competition they've entered and pulling off a unique quadruple. Yay! Yay. Uh, Sham has become a good friend over the years. He's successful, uh, intelligent, reliable, kind, generous and easy to like. The, 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 the bribes in the post, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's also chivalrous. Um, before he proposed to Ellie, he called me on the phone one evening um, to ask for my blessing. Uh, and to me, uh, that's also a sign of great parenting. <laughs> <laughs> so Sham has already shown himself to be a terrific father stepfather and now husband um, who has caringly accepted Bradley into the fold. So, Sham, 
It's a pleasure and a privilege to now officially be able to call you my son-in-law. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to welcome you all here today. I would like to say how wonderful Ellie looks tonight. Can we give her a massive appreciation of how beautiful she looks? Wow! <laughs> Ellie, I would like to welcome you into the family. Even though you've been part of this family for a while, I've got to know you and I've, I've realised how much a wonderful person you actually are and how happy you make Shamir. And now you're officially a Samani. So, if anybody messes with you, I'm sending Noah's Kaka around and he will take care of them. <laughs> That's not actually a joke. <laughs> <clears throat> Seriously, Ellie, we, we have seen over the past few years how much love and respect you've shown this family. And we're a large family and we couldn't be prouder to have you as our daughter-in-law. Thank you so much. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge what a wonderful job my older brother Azim and our late sister-in-law, Babi Nabat, Shami's mother, has done to bring up a wonderful, well-rounded son. You are a credit to this family, Shamir, and we love you very much. Thank you. Shamir, you are one of the most fiercely loyal, warm, compassionate, and one of the most genuine people I know. When you walk in a room, the energy changes. People change, people become happier, and they smile more. And for that, it's a huge credit to Azim and Babi. Sticking with tradition, I like to leave the newlyweds with a few words of advice. I think I mentioned I've been married 32 years. I know I look young, but anyway. Never ever make fun of your wife's choices because you are one of them. <laughs> Another thing that I've learned is a great marriage is not when a perfect couple comes together. It's when an imperfect couple learn to enjoy their differences. A successful marriage requires falling in love many times during their marriage and always with the same person. <laughs> Shamir. <laughs> yes, Yasmin. Shamir, I've got a little bit of a, th a thing for you. Shamir, hold the bride's hand, hold, hold Ellie's hand, put your hand on top of her hand. How does it feel? That's the last time you'll ever have the upper, upper hand in the marriage. <laughs> Enough of the jokes. <clears throat> I would like to say a small prayer. Shomer and Ellie, we always pray that in each other you find strength when either of you are weak, courage when either of you feel afraid, happiness when either of you feel sad, love when either of you feel angry, and finally, light and faith when either of you feel lost. We pray that Molana Hajiman be with you every moment of your lives together and you always feel light and you always have the blessing of the Imam with you. Amen. We love you very much. Congratulations. Um, so I won't actually take too much time up. I just wanted to say a few words really on behalf of Mummy and Daddy, uh, although obviously Mum's not with us. We absolutely see her shimmer in your eyes, in your laughter, in our grandchildren, and she's absolutely here. I can feel her. So I won't repeat some of the beautiful things that people have said. Ellie, it's a given. You look amazing. And we're so proud to have you as a Samani, to have you... I'm going to come to that. Um, we are so proud to have you as part of our family. We are so proud of the children, Bradley, Kian and Leone. They literally bright up the room. They brighten any room they walk into and we couldn't be any more proud of them. Uh, so thank you for that and thank you for giving them to us. You know. But really, I want to focus Shimmer on you. Now, those of you that know our family will know that Shimmer and I are so, so close. We are only 18 months apart. We have literally been joined at the hip since mum birthed me 
and he is one of the most important p people in my life and will always be. So Shima, I just want to say to you that not only are we proud of you for being hardworking, for being decent, for being a, just a good human being, but just for shining the light that you do in every room that you walk into. Just like Omingaka said, you know, we are so, so proud and I can't say that enough. I also just want to give a particular mention, obviously, to our mother and our father. We are so lucky to have such amazing parents. They have literally been with us through every up and down throughout our lives. And when you have four children, there are a lot of up and ups and downs. <laughs> like, it doesn't stop. The family is crazy. Um, and now that we have grandchildren, it just continues and continues. So, Daddy, we are what we are because you have given us everything. Everything. Now, obviously, our family will never be the same. It changed five years ago when Mum left us. Of course it did. But I think we all, every single one of us in this family, live in a way that makes her proud. And we will continue to shine light as she did. I think every single person in this room that knew mom will know that she was a beautiful soul. And if she was here today, she would have just lifted the event to a new level. Um, so, you know, she's with us and we love her so much. So really, guys, just to, just to finish up, I want to wish you both a future of nothing but happiness. I hope your, your marriage, the many, many years that you have to share, will be just as happy as this day has been. I hope you both shine as bright that you have done today, because you've both been amazing, you've both been beautiful, and may your future just be that. And ultimately, let's be happy, because this is an amazing time, and we're so, so proud. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I made no jokes, I don't think, anyway. Yeah. Um, so now I'm going to pass over to Little and Large. <laughs> and I will, I will let the crowd decide who is Little <laughs> and who is Large. So guys, uh, today is an honour that I take incredibly seriously, being Cham's best man. And as part of taking today seriously, I've taken a lot of advice on exactly what a best man speech should be. The best piece of my advice that I received was that the speech should truly represent the groom. So in the spirit of today's groom, we're going to keep this short. <laughs> it's, it's not been mentioned once already, but, you know, for those of us that haven't been keeping track, it is two years after it was originally planned. However, for those of us that know Sham really, really, really well, that is almost on time for Sham. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Sham have known each other since we were 16 and we worked at Morrison's supermarket together. Those of you who knew Sham at 16 will know that he was absolutely never wrong in his opinion. I'm still never wrong in my opinion. I was about to say not much has changed and there he is proving my point for me, what a guy. <laughs> That was never better represented than the very first time that we met. At that time, I worked stuck in the shelves and Sham worked behind the deli counter. Sham had finished his break and he was walking across the store and we got talking. After a few minutes, the deli manager came round the corner, noticed and tapped Sham on the shoulder and said, why are you not behind the counter? Sham looked at him dead in the face and said, how do you know I'm not? <laughs> To be fair to Sham, the manager was so confused, it actually surprisingly worked, which is, which is almost impressive. Sham, all I will say to you, mate, is I hope you enjoyed those days of always being right. You're a married man now. <laughs> You'll never be right again. So, very similarly to Rich, I've known Sham for nearly 20 years, and clearly Morrison's does make it, because <laughs> it was the exact same place. <laughs> You know, I was Dan the Pie Man, and you'd often see me aimlessly wandering around the aisles, <laughs> trying to peddle my reduced pasties <laughs> to anybody that would listen. Um, but also, seemingly talking to myself, however, if you know, you looked really close and knew exactly where to look underneath this giant flying saucer type hat behind the deli counter. It was a nice hat. It, it, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. You, <laughs> but that was sham. You know, you, you're underneath that hat with that cheeky smile that you still got going on today, and you know, making my evenings more than bearable. 
Um, and I think that those early days of working around food and peddling it to other people has had a huge underlying impact on our friendship and on our waistlines. <laughs> <laughs> um, whenever we go to each other's homes, the first question isn't the usual, can I get you anything to drink, but rather, should we get some food? <laughs> and you know what, we've never been more than six foot away from a curry, a pizza, a kebab, and I wouldn't have it any other way, let's be honest. <laughs> One thing that I should probably mention today is the stag party that we went on to Mallorca. Don't worry, Sham, it's not that story. <laughs> Maybe later. We wanted to get Sham the most embarrassing shirt that we could to wear on the first day of the holiday. Some of you will have seen the pictures on Facebook, but we got him a Hawaiian shirt with a picture on the front of a cat wearing a cowboy hat riding a shark that was vomiting a rainbow. It was a great shirt. I loved it. <laughs> Therein lies our problem. So we gave it to him on the first day. We waited for his reaction and hopefully his protests. He put it on and said, I love it. I need to send a picture to Ellie. It's not exactly the reaction we were going for when we were trying to stitch him up on his stag do, I have to say. But then again, when I reflect on it, given some of the other shirts in Sham's wardrobe that I've seen, the signs were there that he might have enjoyed the shirt that we got. <laughs> Look, therein lies the end of the roast of Shamir Samani. <laughs> look, seriously though, let's look forward to your future. Um, you know, you've got this incredible new chapter of your life starting, you found yourself a wonderful partner in Ali, um, who I think we can all agree, and it's been mentioned once or twice tonight, but you look <laughs> radiant tonight, you really do. I would say the same thing applies to the rest of the bridal party, but I might be slightly biased on that point of view. <laughs> message, you better say that. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, Pippa and Emmy both done an absolutely wonderful job of looking after Ellie today and arranging an amazing Hindu, so thank you very much. The three of us have known each other for nearly two decades now, and when you think about that, that's quite scary. We've all found incredible partners, we've got eight kids between us, and you know, we're watching them all grow now. They're growing up together, they're growing close as friends, just like us, and it's amazing. And I think it's just like one giant family and we really couldn't ask for more. Yeah. Yeah. Sham, I think I've been relatively cruel so far, so I'm gonna go nice as well. So I just, I just wanna say, mate, I'm so happy to be stood here today as your best man, as you did for me about eight years ago, and celebrate your marriage to the beautiful Ellie. Sham, you're my best friend. Good times and bad, and there have been plenty of both. We've always stuck together, and we'll continue to do so. I think at this stage, and there's already been some marriage advice, which was a cracking gag, I have to say, and I wish I'd found that gag myself. <laughs> the marriage advice I've gone for is genuine, which seems fairly dull on reflection. But all I will say to you, mate, is appreciate every moment together. Have fun continue having adventures, and never stop trying to show each other every day how much love you have. I love you both. We're gonna end on a very similar note because you know how much love I've got for you guys and your entire family, I think you're all amazing. And I've got absolutely zero wise words of advice to give you for our <laughs> marriage. But what I've got for you is a promise, and that is that no matter where life takes us, that my family and I will be there for you guys no matter what, and no matter when. Okay, so I think on that note, it's time that we raise a glass to our best friend, Mr. and Mrs. Smarney. As you both know, we've, as you all know, We've been trying to do this for nearly two to three years now. And finally, we have managed to get everybody in a room. And she did say I do, which was expected, but nevertheless. <laughs> but it is nice to see so many family and friends here today. And again, we do thank you all for being here. I would like to take a moment to remember our family members who are not able to be here today. It is difficult to mention them all. However, I would like to mention Ellie's mum who I know will be very, very proud of you today and the beautiful woman that you've turned out to be. I would like... 
I would like to take a very special moment to mention my mum, someone who I'd very dearly miss today in particular, but every day. And I know not just myself, but she's missed very dearly by the whole family. And I'd also like to make a very special mention to my grandparents. Even though our loved ones are not here today with us physically, I have no doubt they are here today spiritually. They are looking down from above, smiling, looking at a room full of family, friends, happiness and laughter, and I'm sure they're giving their blessings to us all. <laughs> Ellie and myself have been together for seven years. We are beautiful children, and we have been through the good and the hard times of life. I can say I have experienced my happiest times with Ellie by my side, and she has been the laughter, the smiles and the love that have made those happy times even more special. I have also experienced my hardest times with Ellie by my side, and she has been the light in the times of darkness. It is in these times that define who we are. And what I have in my wife is a kind, gentle, loving, and caring person. I could stand here all day and say many wonderful things about Ellie, but the most important thing is I love you very much and I look forward to starting this new chapter in our life. I would like you all to please kindly raise your glasses. Ellie, you are finally a Somani and all that comes with it. <laughs> <laughs> Before I spin finish my speech, I would like to say a few very special thank yous. Firstly, I would like to thank my dad. You've always been there for me and Ellie. And today, as we stand in this room, it would not have been possible if it wasn't for you. We thank you for all the love and support you give to us. We love you very much and we would be lost without you. I would like to thank my new father-in-law. Through all the years me and Ellie have been together, you have supported us and you've been there for us, no matter what we've needed. We love you very much and we thank you for everything. We would also like to thank our sisters who have played a big part in planning and organizing, not just the wedding, but all the other celebrations that have surrounded the wedding. You've all been amazing and we do thank you for the support that you give to us all. To our bridesmaids, who all look beautiful. Best men, your jackets have gone, right? Yeah. Um, you can have handsome, do do. There we go, yeah. You've supported us throughout, and you arranged lovely, well, um, amazing and fun hen and stag do's. Um, we've all been friends for a very, very long time, and I have no doubt this is just one of those occasions, and many more will come, unless you mess your speech up, and then we're done, yeah. <laughs> Finally, we'd like to thank Aminkaka, Noaskaka, Chachi, and Sue for always being there for everything we've needed. Now, we do have a token of appreciation for our fathers. However, I don't think where they're supposed to be. They're not there, so we will give them a little bit later on. Are they on your table there? Oh, thank you. Okay, so. I don't know if Yeah, that's fine. No, leave them. Okay. They're fine. Okay. Really? That's for you. Uh, and finally, if I could ask you all to please raise your glasses to you all for being here today and for helping making this such a special day. We thank you very much. And we do hope you enjoy the rest of the evening and have lots of fun. Thank you all. Thank you.